I'm Paula from MemakeyThings.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a stamp for paint effects. Okay, so there's several different things that you can do. Actually, there's lots of different things that you can do. Um, one of the easiest things you can do is to just use something that you may have around the house like a toilet paper roll. Now, if you want to do something like you were covering a uh, area of your wall or something like that and you wanted to make circles you can just dip that in there and repeat it in a pattern and use that as a stamp. Um, another thing that you can use is Lots of fruits and vegetables. These apples make kind of interesting stamps. Now, in, when you dip something in, you tend to get a little bit of like blobs and things like that on it. So it's a little easier sometimes to get some kind of a, a paint brush or a pouncer like this and actually load your stamp with that. And then you can use that as a stamp. It doesn't look exactly like an apple, but I wasn't really trying to make an apple. It's just trying to do something um, that has kind of a uniform shape to the stamp. Now, one of the ways that you can make a stamp for yourself is um, taking a wood block like this and then um, using these little craft foamy things. You can just glue them onto the block in any kind of a pattern. You can use shapes that are already cut or you can cut your own shapes. Glue them with like an Elmer's glue or a tacky glue and then when it's dry you'll have a stamp here. And then you go ahead and load it the same the same way. You just don't want to get uh, have a lot of globs and stuff on it. And then you just uh, Press that down and the more paint you have on you're going to get a slightly different effect. But that is how you can make your own stamp for painting effects. This is Paula from MemakeyThings.com. Have a great day.